everyone, it is Ryan with the Idaho Crypto Group here, and today we're going to be showing you how to turn cash into crypto using a Bitcoin ATM. So let's get started. Depending on which Bitcoin ATM you're using and what area of the world you're in, they're going to have a few different features on these machines. Each machine will allow you to buy different coins. This one in particular will allow us to buy Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Dogecoin. Now again, if you're using a different machine somewhere else in the world, there might be a different selection of coins available. And one easy way to find crypto ATMs in your area is to go to coinatmradar.com and it'll show you a map of all the different crypto ATMs in your area, as well as what coins they offer and also the fees they charge. However, most of these machines are going to work pretty similarly. So today we're going to be showing you how to buy cryptocurrency. If you're looking for a video on how to sell cryptocurrency, that will be the next video. So make sure if you're trying to sell to go watch that video. But today I'm going to be buying $20 worth of Bitcoin and putting it onto a wallet on my phone. The way that I do this, obviously the first thing you're going to need is some cash. The second thing you're going to need is a crypto wallet. So if you haven't already set up a wallet on your phone or laptop, make sure to go to our other video, how to set up a cryptocurrency wallet and get that done first. In this case, I have got my trust wallet here that I'm going to be using today. Again, there's lots of different wallets out there. You could use trust, Exodus, Coinami, lots of great wallets to use. Make sure you download them from the trusted source so that you are using the legitimate wallet. But again, today I'm going to be buying Bitcoin in my trust wallet. I am just going to click on Bitcoin. And again, most wallets, if you don't see the coin you're trying to buy there in most wallets, you can go to the list of coins and turn on and show different coins that aren't already showing. So again, I want to buy Bitcoin, right? So in my wallet, I'm going to click on Bitcoin and then I want to receive Bitcoin, right? Because I'm going to be giving the crypto ATM cash and this machine is going to be sending me Bitcoin. So this here is my QR code to receive Bitcoin, or you can also use these letters if you're gonna receive Bitcoin from someone else. This Bitcoin ATM machine does have a camera so it can scan QR codes. So welcome, I'm gonna hit buy Bitcoin. Now when that happens, the machine's gonna ask me a couple of questions. And again, this is gonna be different depending on which machine you're using. This one in particular is gonna ask me two questions. One, it's gonna ask if I'm a politically exposed person. The answer is no. Now, the second question it's going to ask me is how much I'm looking to purchase. And there's two options here. It is allowing me to purchase up to $300 worth of crypto, or the second option is that I want to purchase more than $300. The reason for this is each state and each country has their own know your customer laws where they legally have to retain some customer information if you're purchasing over a certain amount of crypto. So in this case with this machine, if I purchase up to $300 worth of Bitcoin, I won't have to put in my driver's license, a social security number or anything like that. However, if I wanted to purchase a larger amount of crypto, I am going to have to scan my ID and put in some information about myself. Again, that's based on your state and their know your customer laws. So every machine is going to be different. But today I'm just putting in 20 bucks. So I'm going to hit up to $300 and now it says enter your destination Bitcoin address. So you can see here the little camera screen popped up and it's scanning right here. So again, I'm going to open up my trust wallet. This is my receive Bitcoin QR code. I'm going to hit receive and then I'm just going to scan that QR right into this camera. And then boom, it's going to automatically pull up the destination address, which should match the address inside of your crypto wallet that you're sending Bitcoin to. And now it's ready for the cash. I'm going to go ahead and take my cash. Now, keep in mind, some machines might only take 20s, 10s, 50s, or 100s. Not all the Bitcoin ATMs take all forms of currency. Make sure you do your research and figure out which forms of currency this machine can take. Another thing you want to do your research on is the ATM fee. When you buy crypto at one of these ATMs, there's going to be a transaction fee because that's their business and how they make money. Now, one thing you need to be wary of is there's a lot of ATMs that are charging ridiculous fees. I've seen some fees as high as 20, 22% for buy fees, which is absolutely crazy. This machine in particular right here has a 4% buy fee, which is not too bad. So now I'm going to take my cash and insert it into the cash slot. Some machines will give you the option to enter a discount code. If you know the owner or someone who's using these machines, you could get a discount code, get a little bit off your fees. But again, right here, it already shows how much cash I've inserted, $20, which equals 0 0.00031609 Bitcoin. And it shows you the destination address, which is my wallet from my phone. Everything looks good. I'm gonna hit buy Bitcoin. Please wait while we process the transaction. And then boom, most machines should print you a receipt. It'll tell you what time, how much, what coin, where it was sent to. Um, so you might want to hang on to that and go ahead and hit done. 
Now, depending on which coin you buy, it might take a little bit of time for it to show up in your wallet because cryptocurrencies have to go through something called confirmations on the blockchain. Bitcoin is one of the slower moving coins. I've seen Bitcoin transactions take up to a couple of hours before. So if you don't see your crypto right away, don't start to panic. Make sure you put the right address in on your receipt and you should eventually receive your crypto. So thanks again for watching guys. Simple and easy today. How to buy crypto at a Bitcoin ATM. The next video is going to be showing you guys how to sell crypto at one of these machines. If you enjoyed the video or learned something, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe to our channel for future videos. And thanks again for watching.